Andrew Jarecki, director of HBO's The Jinx and founder of Movie Phone, joins us now to discuss his latest venture in tech, the launch of Know Me, the first video creation app that makes it easy to create, edit, and share a polished video on your smartphone. Andrew, welcome. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. So how did you get involved with Know Me? Is this your brainchild? Yeah, you know, I, was, I think I was in the middle of making the jinx and I'd interviewed like a hundred people in a relatively short period of time. And I was so uh, struck by how powerfully driven people are to tell their story, mm -hmm. their personal story or just something that happened to them this morning. And yet there was no easy way to do that on your phone. You know, there are great things like Snapchat where you can just talk sort of first person present tense yeah. at the concert. And then they're really complicated tools like, you know, sort of like iMovie and stuff that are more for professionals. Uh, there wasn't anything in the middle that let a regular person use all the media on their phone, their photographs and their videos and music and stuff, to make a little polished video that would enable them to communicate in the language of video, which is how Amazing. So you said to yourself, here I am, I have nothing else to do. I'm not in the middle of a documentary or a million other projects. I'm going to create an app. I mean, how did you work that into your busy life? Well, you know, it was sort of similar to when we started Movie Phone. It was just something that I needed. And I, I thought, well, I love making little movies, and if I could only do it without... Uh, I, I mean, I love the other hundred people that work on a movie, but wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to call them all up in the morning and make them come over? So I thought, well, you know, there should be an easier way to do this. And then I got together with some guys, including one of my ex-partners from Movie Phone, and we started developing an, an app that would radically simplify the way you can make a little movie on your So tell us how it works exactly. There's a really cute little demo that you guys have. I think yeah. that sort of explains it. Yeah, so, so it, the simplest thing we did was we put everything on one page. So essentially, when you want to uh, tell a story about what happened this morning, you might say, you know, I went to the store this morning, and there's your picture of having been at the store, and all you have to do is touch the photograph and speak over it. So you can say, I went to the store, and I ran into this guy, and this is what happened to me. So essentially, by just touching and talking, you're creating the video as you go. You're enabling yourself to tell the story using the photographs and images that you have on your phone. So you're essentially editing in real time. Yeah, exactly. You're editing as you go, as opposed to that project feeling. Yeah. Uh, you know. Can you still save it and then go back and tweak if you want? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can. So there's sort of a drafts function. So if you like it and you're halfway through it and then you have to get off the subway, you that, can always save it and just go back to it later. That sounds so great. And the launch is when? Uh, it's today. It's we today. Started, started downloading it already. And how's it getting any feedback yet? It's been kind of having an amazing reaction. People are really responding to it. You know, it's free. Yeah. So you can't argue too much with right. it. But it, but it, but it's something we put a lot of time into. And yeah. it was not a, an overnight thing. It was really took us about a year and a half to develop the interface and to make it simple for people. Very, very cool. Now, I got to ask you. Sure. Have you been following? What's the latest with Robert Durst? You know, I found out an amazing thing recently, which was the way that Bob got arrested was he was at a hotel in New Orleans, and the FBI came in, and they were asking the desk clerk if he was there, and they said, well, no, we don't have anybody by that name. And the FBI guys turned around, and in walks Robert Durst, yeah. and the two of them are sitting in the lobby, and they say, are you Robert Durst? And he doesn't answer. And a woman comes over who's sitting in the lobby and says, oh, I'm sorry, ignores the FBI guys, say, and says, um, I'm a big fan, Mr. Durst. You know, would you mind signing? My I loved you on the jinx. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, you're kidding. No, it's a very, it's a strange story. And it's. A and have you personally spoken to him since the jinx aired? I haven't. His lawyer pocket dialed me the other day, and I called him back, and I said, did you pocket dial me? And he said, yes, that was an accident. <laughs> you won't be hearing from me again. All right, Andrew Jarecki, thank you so much for that, and congratulations on Know Me. Great, thank you.